Well, Blackmagic Design just finished their NAB 2024 keynote and they have clearly listened and read your comments as most of your requests over the last couple of months and years have been fixed or updated. What that ultimately means for us Blackmagic Design users is we have been backing the right horse as the products that we use are just getting better and better for the money. We correctly predicted the launch of Resolve 19, the release of the Pixar 6 box camera and the large format Ursa Cine 17K camera, control panels and even the price reductions on the video assists. There's so much to talk about, let's get into it. As predicted, DaVinci Resolve 19 was announced with so many new features that you guys have all requested, like just following the playhead in the edit page, a new color slice, which allows more nuanced color vector manipulation for deeper filmic looks from digital sources, more AI-based motion tracking, better spatial noise reduction with a sample selector tool, node stacks for more complex grades, an entirely redesigned film look tool, Blackmagic is now finally allowing us to change the face refinement tracking. We can restore deleted timeline backups, the ability to control textures in fusion, volumetric controls and multiple masks in a single node. Plus the fusion track now defaults to IntelliTrack and the ability to reference composition to be used in any project timeline, which is just amazing. We can now even remix music, change tracks to instrumental with a single click. We now have new reverb removal tools, significant ducking controls, AI-based audio panning with new 3D spatial controls. Plus, DaVinci Resolve now has a live replay system built into it, which just looks incredible. They also released a replay editor for $495, which is like the speed editor on steroids, and it has some amazing features that will change the way you edit. And Resolve 19 is said to be launching in the coming days. So just keep an eye out. I'll get on top of all this new stuff and create some content for you to watch. Then there's the Media Player 10G, which is Thunderbolt enabled for $995. Then there's the new Cloud Storage Max product in 24 and 48 terabytes in RAID 0 config with up to 100 gigabytes of throughput for 6,495 or 10,000 available in May. And finally, the Ursa Cine. They went big and designed a new full frame 12K LF sensor. The LF is a native three by two open gate with 16 stops of dynamic range and a symmetric RGBW design. It's 35.6352 by 23.316 millimeters in size as a sensor. The design is very similar to the Ursa, comes with NDs which are electronically controlled and has an inbuilt OLPF, a new viewfinder, much better IOs with Lemos, and fish connections with all the accessories that you could need to shoot with the camera. The buttons are backlit and the flip screen fully rotates. We get time code reference, 10 gig ethernet, 12 and 24 volt power, high speed Wi-Fi inbuilt for onset streaming. It boots up super fast, has an offside second control assistant monitor, can take four M2 cards for, for huge data and shoots 12K at 80 frames per second, 100 frames per second and 17 by nine and 8K at up to 200 plus frames per second. The footage looks absolutely stunning, so let's check it out together. The standalone camera retails for $15,000 and it will cost more for the OLED EVF version. With the camera comes some proprietary media modules. These modules are reasonably priced for eight terabyte at $1,700 and the 16 terabyte price was undisclosed, but they both require a media dock that costs $2,000 to ingest the footage. And then they announced the Ursa Cine 17K that we predicted we just got the resolution wrong at 50.808 by 23.38 millimeters in size with 16 stops of dynamic range in IMAX resolution. But wait, there's more because Blackmagic Design also announced the Pixar 6 for 2995 box camera. So all the people out there that have been asking for a box camera saying Blackmagic Design's never gonna do it, I was one of them, well, they've done it. It's a full frame 6K camera. It takes two CF Express Type B cards. It's made from aluminium. It can handle a lot of different formats, is dual native ISO, uses Sony MPF batteries, and will ship in June. And it looks like an absolute dream camera to own. All these cameras are groundbreaking and they just are incredible. Now, after these camera announcements, Blackmagic Design announced a new color panel. It's called the Resolve Micro Panel, and it will ship later this year. And finally, 
the video assists have now been reduced in price drastically by $200 across the range. I can't wait to hear all your thoughts on all the new products and all the new cameras, so go crazy in the comments or watch one of my other videos up here. Swipe up, tag your friends, like and subscribe, comment below. If I make this follow, don't let this flop.